In this video series, I will be constructing a computer in fact Oreo. This won't be a fancy rig by any means, but it will still be able to perform basic functions. Here I have a checklist of all the parts the computer will need, ranging from its motherboard all the way to the most important feature, useless RGB effects. Today, I will be building the computer's main hard drive. As much as I want to build an 8TB SSD, I am unfortunately limited by what the Cominators can do. It sounds rather underwhelming, but I'm going to build a 16KB hard drive. We start with the simple goal of getting a bunch of Cominators to remember something. A real life hard drive is pretty much that but with extra steps. Here I am setting up an arithmetic combinator to output an equal amount of B signals as A input signals. According to this wooden stick, there is currently one B signal. If I remove the input, the output also vanishes. We want a machine that can remember the initial input, even if we remove it. The easiest way to accomplish this is to loop a cominator back through itself. This way, it cycles the input forever, and will never forget it. I'm sort of making this up as I go along, and I don't have a set plan. Here is the mock-up hard drive I created prior to this video to make sure the thing will work in the first place, and here is another version that also sort of worked. Diving back in, here I set up a series of combinators to store small amounts of information, with each row representing 5.33333 kilobytes of storage. When added up, it doesn't exactly equal 16 kilobytes, but that is a limitation of binary systems, and extends beyond fact Oreo. The way I built these sections was by formatting the hard drive into a traditional PC layout. This is the C drive, which contains the rudimentary operating system, the D drive which contains program data, and the A drive for USB interface purposes, but that's more for debugging if something goes wrong later on. The operating system, if you could call it that, is just a simple set of processors that decodes signals it receives from the motherboard, and outputs them to the computer's peripherals. This is accomplished using logical gates, and that will be covered in the next episode. If I ever want to change something, I'll just build a new hard drive instead of formatting this one, because honestly I have no idea what additional problems that would bring, but it may be interesting to see. Anyway, according to this wooden stick, the hard drive is functioning as intended. The C drive contains the operating system, the D drive holds general information and the A drive is dormant for now. Let's see what happens when we plug the hard drive into the motherboard. Like and subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series, or comment below if there is a better way to do something.